Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. We're back in with, with the saddle with some Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. Um, we have time for a brief adventure. I'm going to go to bed pretty early because I have a big event tomorrow to go to. So I need some rest. I'm really working hard, push myself to the limit. So I want to make sure I get some good rest for tomorrow. Let's continue where we left off. We're on the train, I'm about to go to the toilet on a train headed to Paris. Here we go. So let's look at uh, our surroundings. It's a sign for the compartment 15. That's one you and per Percy are currently traveling in. <clears throat> fire extinguisher. The glass case contains a fire extinguisher for emergencies. The sign says toilettes. Extinguisher sign. The sign indicates that there is a fire uh, extinguisher available for emergencies below it. Let's see, walk around here. Okay, you don't have to go there. Let's go to the toilet. Sign. The sign shows a little woman wearing a skirt. Uh, save her progress. That's the woman's restroom. You don't want to cause a scene by going in there. Oh well. Good evening. I thought gender wasn't real. Oh man, Anyways, let's like move on. Just leave me alone the sign already. shows a little man. I'm afraid that isn't possible until you are taken care of. Now, I want to avoid making a scene uh -oh. out here in the hallway. Let's oh, go no, back to your compartment agent. and settle this there. I'm giving you fair warning, however. Don't try anything, yeah. or I will shoot you right here. Fine. Follow me. Alright. Save progress. Toilets. Won't be able to turn back to the bathroom now. Can't go there. Or can I? Ah. Alright, let's go. I didn't go. realize you were accompanied on this, this way. Train. Your problem always was a lack of observation, dun, dun, Jennings. Dun. Quite frankly, I'm surprised they would have sent you. Apartment doors. J Jones? You. There he is. Alive? That's Quentin Jones. How is this possible? Oh, surprise, surprise. I thought. Yes, as I recall, it yes. was you who was given the honor of executing me. It would seem, however, that you did not do as thorough a job as you thought. But. That was in 1956. Uh oh. Even if you had uh -oh. survived. You'd be over a hundred years old by now. Ah, perhaps I was wrong in my initial assessment. You are showing a surprising amount of observational skill. However, I'm afraid <laughs> the answer to that is not for you to know. My immediate concern is your threatening of young Mr. Jordan. And as hmm. such... Whoa! Help me get him out of here, would you? Genovese must be getting desperate. This means we haven't much time. Okay, I think it's finally time for you to tell me what's going Bonk. on. Bonk! Take that. Yes, you're quite right. Take that. Before, when I asked you about the Knights, you said your involvement with them ended? How did it end exactly? I went out Sorry. with a bang, you might say. Yeah. One well, thing they neglected to mention when I joined was that it was a lifetime uh, Knights membership. Knights of St. Anthony. As such, after Genovese became obsessed with gathering the relics, and I decided to abandon the cause, Jennings, the gentleman who was here earlier, was charged with executing me. 
The Knights of St. Anthony do not deal well with deserters. That knight guy made a good point. How are you still alive? When Grandpa Arthur died, he was 90, and that was 13 years oh. ago. You don't look any older than your mid-50s. That's because when I was shot and killed by the You're knights, still alive? I was 55. <laughs> Hold on. You were killed? Indeed. Shot in the head at close range. It was quite unpleasant. I don't understand. Does that mean you're a ghost or something? I don't think that is the proper classification, as you what? aren't the only one who can see me. But it is something similar. I suppose the best explanation would be something akin to hell? a guardian angel, charged with your protection. This is a lot to take in. You mentioned something about this before, but... Who exactly charged you with my protection? I'll try and make what? it as concise as possible. Oh, really? As it is a bit much Protection! My own personal guardian angel. When your grandfather saved me from the headless vampire, I was in his debt for my life. Despite our later falling out over my support for the Knights of St. Anthony, we still maintained that bond. When I was shot, I recall experiencing my death, but something brought me back. I didn't speak with anyone or anything directly, but somehow I knew that before I could rest, I had a duty to perform. That duty was to protect Arthur Jordan's grandson against the perverted ideas and actions of Cardinal Genovese. And so, that is what I have been doing since I tracked you down several months ago. Sorry if I sound rude, but what exactly have you been doing to help me? More than you realised. I was granted the advantage of some otherworldly influence upon my return to this world. What does that mean? What's he done? Simply that I can manipulate the will of others to your benefit if the need arises. For instance, did you ever wonder why it was so easy for a foreigner to have such hands-on access at the police station in Osaka? Oh. Or why it just so happened that the only available taxi in Greece refused to go to Athens? Or who it was that nice. recommended your services to Mr. Renzi? Uh, well... I've been working behind the curtain to oh. ensure your success leading up to the final confrontation with Genovese. Unfortunately, I won't be able to help you with that, but I feel you're sufficiently prepared at present. Wait a second. If you wanted to help me, why are you such a jerk wow. when you first met? Ah, <laughs> yes. That was my form of tough love, so to speak. All arranged. The situation in Smellholm was extremely dangerous, and I needed to make sure you could perform well when faced with adversity. Luckily, you proved quite capable. Well, thanks for your help, then, even though I didn't realize you were helping. Any time. Ah, oh, it seems we will soon be arriving at our destination. But how will we know where to go? I've reserved you a room at a local hostel, the Hotel Comine. It's close to the train station, so you should have no trouble finding it. What about you? Unfortunately, I won't be able to accompany you. However, I will be in contact with you and watching out for you from afar. Okay, so I'll go over to the hostel once we stop. Good luck, Mr. Jordan. Oh, and do be careful. Although I doubt Cardinal Genovese has learned of your journey, it surely won't be long before he does. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for any of his goons. We've arrived at Paris. There's the Eiffel Tower. Go to the Rue Cummings. All right, we'll take we'll take a little break here. It's been a long day. Gamers like, thank you for watching. Play a brief adventure of Ben Jordan, case number eight, Relics of the Past. We were able to survive the train ride, even after uh, agent of the Knights of Saint Anthony tried to kill me. We just recently discovered that Percival Quentin Jones is Ben Jordan's personal, personal guardian angel. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, all those social media websites that you, that you um, have on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel. You get notified of uh, videos I'll be doing. Check out links, links below. Don't forget to ring my bell. As well, subscribe. Have an awesome weekend and stay frosty this summer. Bye.